quick review of the Roland Reserve boat ramp and I was only there for one day so to be honest it's quite a good boat ramp uh, it does get pretty packed so there's the map location if you want to know where it is so it's up in the North Beaches Way and it's in uh, the suburb of Bayview um, <clears throat> the boat ramp is pretty good it's, uh, it's got two ramps there so I'll just show you here So this ramp here could probably fit four cars in it if you um, if they're good drivers that is so it's quite wide actually for a boat ramp so this can probably fit about four there I'd say and you've got um, <coughs> the wharf just right beside it which is good and there are two other wharfs in between the boat ramps and I'll show you that in a minute so there's one wharf there you can dock your boat to as you go and get your um, car or if you're um, offloading just park the boat there and then come back to it and there's the second one there which is another wharf that you can attach your boat to while you're taking your car back or you can just put it on the beach if you want to or if it's a pickup you can just to use this wharf here to pick somebody up as well so here's the second one here so it's divided by a wharf in the centre and you've got, um, you could probably fit two on um, one side and one on the other. Um, when I was there, they didn't use it like that, just uh, one person right in the center, like that bloke there. And there is another beach to the, um, to the left hand side here, which you can park your boat there as well if you're going to get your um, take your car back or um, whatever. And um, there also is a facility where you can actually clean your fish right in between that boat on the beach and the actual boat ramp itself. So that's quite good. I'm not sure <coughs> if there are hoses there where you can wash your motor out. I think it might be too much of a queue up if you do that, but um, I'm not sure about that. <coughs> uh, the boat ramp prices in summer, I believe it was um, taken down from $40 to $25 in summer and from $10 per hour to $6 per hour and in winter I think it's $5 per hour or it's $22 a day so it's uh, I suppose it's the first time I've seen made a car park in a boat ramp but um, it is the northern beaches everything's quite expensive there but um, yeah it's quite a good facility I'll just show you the car park itself we'll do a flyover of the car park there are there is um, three rows So there's the ramp itself from a, a high aerial view. So as you can see there is a first row there. And there is a second row there as well. And there is your third row. Uh, what you've got to remember as well is there could be people with just kayaks or just people visiting so they can actually take one of those car parks if they want to. Although it, it should be meant for just um, the trailers because there is a shortage on certain days. If you go there there is a shortage of um, trying to park your boat and trailer. So that's the car park itself. So yeah it's, it's quite good but you know, they should have probably extended it out here so there was more car parking spaces there's some of the bay itself a couple of the marinas I'm not sure what suburb we're looking at now but it's probably Avalon or the back of Avalon correct me if I'm wrong just leave a comment if I'm wrong about that but I think it's probably Avalon So I'm just doing a sort of visual fly around here. As I said, it is my first time here, so I'm not sure about the suburbs because I'm from the southern suburbs myself. And I'll just do a quick fly past of the each individual boat ramp in a minute, so you can actually see. So there's the three car park, uh, th three jetties there actually four jetties 
and two boat ramps. The recap so one can fit about four cars and the other one can fit probably three. There is a bit of a sandbank there and from the end of that small marina there it's about four knots so from the boat ramp itself right up to uh, I think the end of that marina we can see now is four knots then it goes to eight knots for a short minute and then on after that is uh, open And when I was there, I seen the Maritime were parked in between all those park boats there, so you couldn't actually, they blended in with the park boats to try and catch people who were doing over four or eight knots. So he will do just a quick fly past and then I'll take you to the actual car park itself and show you uh, what it's actually like from car to car. So this is one of Roland's boat ramps at Roland Reserve Park or Roland Reserve boat ramp. There's two ramps here and I think there's another two up the other side there. The car park today is absolutely chock-a-block full. As you can see I'll walk through here and show you. It's metered parking, it's about $22 a day. <coughs> there you go, there's all the trailers there. And people like to park like that. There could have been another two cars places there, but there's just so much gap between them. So this is chocolate box full here, and there's people driving around with trailers at the moment trying to find a parking. I'll show you a bit more up here. Well, what do you do? You just gotta drive around, wait with your trailer, Wait for somebody to go. There's a meter place there. But this is just all chockers here. And I wasn't expecting here. I wasn't expecting this because I would have got here earlier. But we're here at um, about quarter two, quarter to ten, and it's already um, pretty packed. So there's a guy there with a trailer trying to find a spot. And there's just boat after boat coming in, so I don't know where they're going to park. There's another guy up the end there waiting for a... There's a grey car and there's a white car. He just looks like he's got a spot. So this is Roland Reserve Car Park. 